We're going to the Jacksonville Auto, Auto show. show. Well, first we're going to go to the Cracker Barrel. Mm -hmm. Cracker Barrel first and then to the Auto Show. So let's go. group at the, what is it called, Prime? Osborne. Prime Osborne Convention Center in Jacksonville. Going to see the car show. That's Kelly. <laughs> Val. Okay. I see Karen. Matt's staying out of the way there. <laughs> and Julie. Corvette Circle. Classic and new models. Ooh, let's take a look. Oh wow. Oh wow. Here's my new car. I wish. So you gonna get one? No. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of car do you want? A Corolla, which I own. Corolla? Yeah. Ooh, that's way different than a Corvette. <laughs> Very nice. There's a really nice 1964 Corvette. Let's look at this picture. Very nice. I guess this is the Incredible Hulk Corvette. Look at all these little Corvette models along the base of the windshield. Starting off with some Mini Coopers. Starting off with Volkswagen. There you go. She's got her brand new Fiat. All right, tell me all about the inside of it. This That's is... a steering wheel, right? Is that how you steer it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I actually do drive like this. You're the spokesperson, so okay. go for it. So this horn doesn't work. Of course. <laughs> Bad car. <laughs> Failed test. You work for the dealership. Okay. Be nicer. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> what is that knob right there? What does that do? Does that make it, uh, is it the steering knob? Yeah, this is how you steer. Where's the fly button? And then th this is the fly button. And oh, is that is... where the wings pop out? Yep, and then a couple eject buttons. That's not a button over there. Cool. I'm not sure I would want an eject button in this car. You don't have a moonroof. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got it. Really? <laughs> All right. So, you going to buy it? No, this is the worst What's car. What's it going to take to get you into this car today? Nothing. Nothing at all? You'll buy it? No. <laughs> Wait, I'm going to be Is that all? Give me, give me the sign. Where do you see that one? Oh, I don't know. I'm guessing. She's the oh, original really gangster. Good. That's the base price. Are you the models demonstrating the cars? What model is this? Explorer. I already looked. What year? 2017. Hopefully. But yeah. we don't actually know that. Is that the year you were born? No. This is just one room of automobile displays. There are several more to go. And we found that some of the vehicles we specifically came to see are just not here. Notice that the convention center looks like an old train station. I guess this answers my question. Seaboard Railroad. One of the things that tipped me off were these big concrete abutments. And I saw this photograph and realized that they're train stoppers at the end of each track. Let's take a little bit closer look at this. All right, there's a big spring plate for the coupler to bounce against. This must have been the main hall of the station. Huge, absolutely grand in here. Jacksonville Terminal. Florida Railway Tourism was in its heyday when this terminal opened on November 17, 1919. As many as 20,000 people and 142 trains passed through here daily. 
Trains with names like Orange Blossom Special, Silver Meteor, and Southwind designed by New York architect Kenneth Murchison. The terminal was built with the finest Indiana limestone and Tennessee marble with its majestic Doric columns and gracefully soaring vaulted ceilings. It is a grand example of neoclassical architecture. Closed in January of 1974. The restored terminal stands today as a monument to the colorful era of American railroading and to the zeal of city leaders and preservationists who fought to save its beauty for future generations. And that is what the outside facade looks like. Just look at this place. Wow, all I can say is thank God they saved this place instead of tearing it down. These are the original ticket windows. There's those stunning arch ceilings and beautiful old arched windows. I absolutely love the architecture in here. Definitely a throwback to an earlier era of transportation. It's like a time capsule. One of the original station benches and an image of what the inside of the station looked like. I just found this case with all sorts of railroad paraphernalia inside. Lanterns, locks, a signal semaphore. Not sure what those are. They have some nice vehicles from Land Rover. Here's a Discovery. Very nice. A nice red Range Rover. Jaguar. Looks like a metallic cobalt blue. We've now moved over to the higher end German vehicles. What is this? I think it's an Audi R8. The doors are locked on this baby. Not surprised with a price tag of over $200,000. Nice mid vehicle engine configuration. And we're going to head out on the military trail. This is Executive Suite. Ooh. Very nice vintage Jeep. A little closer look at the gauges and controls. Here's a mock-up vehicle data plate. The data plate said this was an M37 3 quarter ton truck. I think that thing is called a mule. Our day out at the car show is winding down. And outside the convention center is this railroad car. Seaboard Coastline Orange Blossom Special. Take a close look at this thing. Some big leaf springs. There's a brake shoe, journal box, big coil spring. Another journal box. There's a big air tank down there. All right, we're finishing up at the auto show in Jacksonville. How'd you like it? Give us a rating on a scale of one to 10. On a 1 to 10 this year, I was pretty disappointed, Brian. They didn't have the Ford Expedition there, and I was really looking forward to seeing the new model. There was a couple cars that they didn't have. They didn't have Kelly's A7. Um, I think that there was at least one other one that I can't remember. Okay. So what was it? About a 7. 7. That's still a pretty strong score for the Jacksonville Auto Show. All right, Brian, signing right. off. Sign off. Remember, life's a journey. Enjoy the ride. And as always, thanks for watching.